Hey everybody, how is it going? This is Doctor Who. This is season 21 and this is part four of The Twin Dilemma. And this is the last episode of this story and also the final episode of this season. So last episode we saw that the Doctor is still having episodes. He's still not fully kind of right after his regeneration. He's going through moments of ecstasy, happiness, then cowering and then being quite violent. And it's, it's bizarre to see because we've not really seen the Doctor be this way after a regeneration before. With Peter's Doctor we saw him more confused than anything, getting everybody's names wrong and breaking up Tom's scarf and basically reinventing himself that way. With with Colin's Doctor he's kind of gone off on this crazy train and I, I, I'm being honest I, I have struggled actually the first three parts of this story. I've also struggled with the twins actually. It's a bit odd to kind of focus a story on these two boys that are doing algebra and mathematics in order to change the orbit of two planets so that, you know, Jaconda can have food and have a harvest because they're starving. Um, I just find it a bit of an odd story, actually. Um, it doesn't really, to me, it feels like it doesn't fit. But I'm interested to see how they finish this, so let's go. Why don't you kill her? <laughs> like this guy's straight to the point. She's better dead. This creature offers no threat. That's right. Be silent. Is it of interest? They should have found it by now. I sense danger. Oh. He's the one. But no more, he is a friend. He will save us from Lord Mester. The Lord Mestor is our friend. <gasps> he is our enemy. Away with you. I'd have took him just for the pants. They have him. <laughs> yes, have They have your friend. He came here to help. Yeah. Did he? Hmm. Harry, you're alive. Oh, please release him! Have the fool wreck a scientific project of vast consequence. Oh, it's debatable who the fool is. If you intend to blow up this corner of the universe. Are you challenging my calculations? Yes. Not at all. In fact, if I can hold my mind together, I might even be able to help you. I mean, the twins may have the mathematical skill, but I have the empirical knowledge. And does he want Perry in exchange for the help? Guarantee success. I mean, one tiny error in your calculation. The planets you're trying to shift could fly off in any direction. He's playing with us, Master. As Mel has often spoken of this time, Lord, he's not to be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this green light is just... Never argue with me again. No, Master. <laughs> Give me your right hand. Take off the green lantern marks. Now yours. Well, you remember? Yes. Instantaneous. Good. Which is more than I do. Doctor. How do you know it's a very right? interesting incidental music in this no. story. This ridiculous scheme of mestors. We can't work like this. There were too many interruptions. Wait Death. outside. You too, Noma. Especially you. You don't seem very popular. No, he doesn't. Have you got foul pest? What do you know of this doctor? Only what Asmel has said. He's supposedly a man of great cunning. Uh-huh. He's also egocentric, willful, and quite mad. Once my work is completed... Kill him. I shall take great delight in examining this doctor more closely. How does Mestor plan to bring the other two planets into the same orbit as Jaconda? A tractor beam. <laughs> Such a thing? Oh, yes. Well, how will he stabilize Jaconda? With the maths the kids are doing. The same orbit will exert enormous gravitational pressure on each other. Yeah, well. By placing them in different time zones. Very neat. Master can travel in time. Thanks to me. Doctor? What? Are you all right? He meditates I'm sometimes. Right. I'm certainly all right. It's the situation that's all wrong. In what way is it wrong? Both the outer planets are smaller than Jaconda. Well, that's obvious. Well, so is the consequence if they're brought any nearer the Jacondan sun. He never accounted right. for that, did he? Why didn't I realise? The gravitational pull of the sun on Jaconda is more or less consistent, yes? Mm -hmm. I'll take you Add to it. The outer planets are smaller. Place them where Jaconda is. How long do you think they will last? No time at all. Their orbit would rapidly decay and they'd crash into the sun. Yes, they would. Does Mestor know this could happen? Of course. 
Charm. Well, off to you, gentlemen. <laughs> we finished. Well done. Now, the whole spaked in tandem thing freaks me out. No, doctor. Doctor. He laughed. He worries me. Oh, he didn't. It's not himself. Then who am I? What do we do next? The twins have finished their calculation. Who? Oh, oh very good. Who? Excellent. Ten out of ten. Alpha plus. Well, look, but please be quick. Of course. Excellent. Oh. What's he going to do in there? And the answer must be in here somewhere. Mestor hasn't gone to all this trouble. It's a lot of wires. Egg. I'm a slug. But where's the mucus? The jelly, the food that feeds the young within. Oh. Does it matter? Of course, these eggs are dry and rubbery. Dead? Let's see what's inside. A laser cutter. I must have a laser cutter. I'll get one for you. Oh. What is it that's worrying you, Doctor? I don't know. Dead. But something's wrong. I don't think they're eggs. I think there's something else in it. Ah. What were you trying to do? Hard boil it? You should at least have scratched the surface. It's reacted to the heat of the laser. Precisely what it's supposed to do. Only it isn't anything like hot enough yet. Doctor, you're talking in riddles. No, 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 he isn't, and I fear he oh, might be right. Oh, the kids are in here. Are we're definitely eggs? getting locked in. No, they're all through there. It's an invasion, oh, isn't it? it really, sense. when they all hatch. You still haven't explained why the eggs are so tough. They were designed to withstand the temperatures of an exploding sun. Nowhere would be safe from invasion. What we need is a plan of action. Now, you've still got your gun. Take Perry and the twins back to the safety of the TARDIS. Noma and the guards might still be outside. They deal with them. You are supposed to be an interplanetary pursuit officer. Look at us, Doctor. I'm old. I've even used up my ability to regenerate. And you, well, your mind could cloud at any moment. Yes. I am fully alert and ready for action. You know. Nestor will destroy us, you know. The better we die in harness, battling against the odds, than die in fear, finding menace in our own shadows. They were supposed what to have we left. Do about our calculations. And destroy all the notes you've made. That's simple. Just press delete. It's done. Good. Drat. You go back to the TARDIS with the others. Drag. <gasps> How? Okay. He's used him as a monitor. He must know everything that's been said in this room. Oh, brilliant. There's no time to this went south really fast. No, ma'am. Yes, master. You're going to get your head burned out. Yes, master. How have we got lost? Well, let's try along here. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. I've worked out what you're up to. I'm not having your sluggy eggs spread all over the universe causing havoc. Love how his floor looks uh, like a what was once snail trail. A very That's cool. Planet. Now, will you give up this nonsense? No, Time Lord. Then you get whatever's in this glass. Then take the consequence. Oh, he protected. Well, this looks more like it. Peter would have made that shot. He was very good at cricket. This time he's right. You almost made it. Oh. What a pity. Leave them to me. No, they want us alive. Mester needs our calculations. <laughs> Embolism time, is it? Go on, don't tell me. Go for it. My blood will bubble like a raging stream. I will beg to die, and in so doing, I will crave your indulgence and forgiveness. Not quite. What's he gonna do? Good. Because in my time, I have been threatened by experts. Doctor. I have said you will cease to exist, but you will not die. Oh, please, Lord Mestor. I huh? tire of the disadvantages of my own being. <laughs> I don't blame you. So I intend to take over your mind. Oh, he's too cocky, man. Far too cocky. <laughs> you might have just killed your friend there, Colin. Well done. Oh, my slave. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not fair. He's an old man. Oh, I he's, he's, he's weakening. He's trying to control mm -hmm. too much. All your condor is affected by his thoughts. You must destroy his body. Otherwise, he will return to it. You've got that other solution in your pocket. I am dying. 
I am regenerated. You can't. He said he couldn't. You've used up your allotted number of lives. The hell is that? He is exorcised, my friend. Oh, that's disgusting. Gave me a good life. Many great moments. One of the best, my friend. It was that time by the fountain. Oh. I hate it when older people die in things. It was, uh, it was nice to have met you. I would explain the circumstances. <laughs> I think you might like her a little bit. Thanks, I think we'll need it. You seem to forget, Perry. I'm not only from another culture, but another planet. I'm therefore bound to have different values and customs. Mm. Whatever else happens, I am the Doctor. But you know, this story for me wrapped up far too easily um, in terms of what was going on. Like, they didn't even attempt to move these planets before the Doctor realised what would happen in terms of the gravitational pull and, you know, the... the planets going into the sun and dying and the explanation regarding eggs for me was a little bit like kind of just shoved in there like oh this will happen to the eggs if they get into extreme heat and they'll awaken become this big army like I thought they would but I did find the part interesting where they were going to put the planets in different moments of time I thought that was interesting because it, it did actually remind me a little bit of Journey's End and I, and I did think oh I wonder if like the moving of the planets obviously Davros attempting it in the past and with this combined maybe inspired that later down the road but I just found it a bit odd like the doctor like he can be really rude and I think I just need to try and come to terms with that but saying that Peter was like basically starting to become neurotic I didn't think he was in the slightest so I found that addition to the script quite odd I just didn't understand why they would even insinuate that he was on the verge of becoming like that he seemed absolutely fine to me the next season is season 22 Two, I might just go start the first story of that and I will see you guys later so thank you